And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Forest Village. All right, we just had the snow melt here, early spring. We got lots and lots and lots of people ready to ready to contribute here. Doing really good on our food at the moment, and yeah, we. The, the movement of flour has really, really helped. Uh, it's kind of amazing that uh, so much flour had built up down here. But we're not really using a whole lot down here. Because uh, we only have like three bakeries. So, yeah. It, it, we're, we're using a lot more up here. So I'm glad that I'm glad I caught that. But now that, the, now that we've melted. I did uh, work over the winter and uh, get the... Uh, getting the roads built in here, and that will really help figure out exactly what we're doing. Uh, I want to pause. Let's grab you. I'm going to take out this fox right here. He is not, not what I want to be roaming around. It's kind of far away. I did uh, cut a ton of trees down over here just because... We're gonna use a lot of a lot of wood, and it's super duper foggy. Of course, of course. Okay, now we should be able to see. Oh yeah, look at look at the difference in being able to visualize where all this stuff is, and uh, we'll be able to now like build there. And I think this first one actually had. It was actually spaced two apart, I think, but eh, right there should be fine. All those roads are built already. And let's see if we can sneak in back here and get that in there. I like leaving a space between all the buildings just uh, more personal preference than anything so you know you can build how you want but leaving that gap allows me to you know build roads later on and stuff like that that I might not be able to previously so there's another one we have lots and lots of stone and everything built up so that's good. That's good, good, good. Let's sneak that in there. Flip that around. It looks good right there. Okay, so how many builders do we have? See, I've, I've kind of ramped up the builders. We have 304 people unemployed. We got a ton of people unemployed. Now, the trick with all of these, uh, as they get filled out, will be to... You know, obviously catch them and upgrade them as we as we get them because they're gonna wanna people are gonna wanna move in really fast. We really don't have any space uh, available uh, for you know families to grow. So, like, if we look at our population, we have a total of 843 uh, housing units available. And if we, you know, add up all of these, we are we are really close to that. Uh, so the 668 adults plus the 120 teenagers, what is that? 788, and then adding another 45. Uh, yeah, we're really close to that 843. And uh, the expedition came back with cherry trees and sent it out again already. So it should be back again early winter of this year, which is which is nice. And uh, these are all getting filled out. We haven't even haven't even gone down on our on our resources very much at all. If we look at this. Ore should start to mine again, which is nice. Clay. Yeah, we're not using too much clay on all these. 80 clay for all of these. Um, whoa. Yeah, the, the, there's 
there's been a few rendering glitches. I don't know if it's... I don't know if they're actually aware of those or not, but every once in a while it really freaks out on the rendering. This one's going up fast. Yeah, I've got plenty of plenty of builders. So on this side of things, I'm going to have another like center here, maybe. I'm not sure how I want to handle that. We got to we got to watch our food. Our food is actually, you know, total food has gone down a little bit. But I mean, look at our meat, 21 thousand meat that is that is a little crazy i'm gonna want a few caravanners around oh we got one upgrading let's insta pause the uh, pause and upgrade so that's another 110 clay a lot more wood holy cow the wood the wood goes fast really really fast and we've got a few trees out here now. So, you know, the season went by and a few more trees grew up. So that's that's good. Oh, we got another one. Let's upgrade it. Sometimes, I mean, if you're not watching, boy, they can build these fast sometimes. Depends on how many builders are on site, but they can go up quick. So the first stage is 28, you know, construction steps. Next one's 40, so yeah, they it ramps up pretty fast. And uh, so far, so good. But this should really ramp up the number of housing units we have available. And now that the roads are all done, they should be able to deliver stuff pretty fast. Builders are all probably out eating or something. The other thing I might want in this in this neighborhood is a tavern. That's one thing I don't have way over here is sort of a tavern. I do have a bathhouse uh, somewhere. There it is right there. Bathhouse sort of encompasses this whole area. And that, mm -hmm. you know, boosts people's mood. But if we want, if we want a tavern, we're going to need... It's going to need access to oats. And that's something we don't have a whole lot of at the moment. So the other thing we're gonna want are more. Yeah, see, we're gonna we may want some more wells over here. Although lightning doesn't, you know, catch fire to all of our buildings anymore, which is so nice. I can't imagine that was very common at this time. It's more likely to hit a tree or the windmill, but. These wood houses don't... There's not a whole lot of metal in these, so I can imagine that there's not... There's not a whole lot of uh, grounding going on. And of course, it's not an episode without a big thunderstorm. There's reasons. Okay, this is just about done, and so we're pausing it. And I continue. Oh, this one's also close. It's kind of interesting how these, you know... All the different stages. You'd think that they would build in the order that I placed them, but I like that it's more, more distributed than that. Very, very nice setup. Okay, this one's just about ready. Upgrade him. All right, three more. Yeah, what is that? Uh, this one was built already. So 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, uh, 80, 84? Yeah, 84 more housing spots. Lots more potential food consumption and family growth. Who's going to be next? This guy right here. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, see, they moved in already. You notice that? When you have those icons over the top, they that shows them that 
that shows me that they moved in. So it's like, even when I catch it right when it builds, it's still, they, the, the game still, even when it's paused, is, you know, trying to accomplish things. Okay, 25. Depending on the workers, I mean, if easily the workers, the builders could uh, kind of go off and take care of some stuff. Okay, it does look like this one's going to be next. And there it is. All right. I think I got that one in time. And then this one next. Okay, let's get that one upgraded. All right. That's a whole lot of wood getting consumed. And a whole lot of stone and other resources. So that's good though. We we can uh, we use some of these here and uh, save ourselves from having to uh, trade for them. Although we I mean we got plenty of stuff to trade with. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the other thing we may want over here is some caravanners close by. I don't know why these guys are walking. Why are they walking on on the grass? I mean, do I have... See, I can't... I could put another one here. I think I will. get in here in forested area we're just gonna add another row onto that and let's see they might be taking this tree down already but oh maybe not Put this tree down this tree and that'll use a little bit more stone as well as you can see, our stone goes up, you know, it drops below 25 and immediately jumps back up because of how many quarries we actually have. I mean, look hmm. at, same with ore. I mean, all the resources, we have so many little deposits around here that it, it fills up pretty fast. Which is good. Okay, so this one is done. I'm sure that it's, yeah, a lot of stonemasons, yeah, there's, but as these get done, there'll probably be ore miners and clay diggers and all that kind of stuff get distributed back here as well. Let's see what this tree is at. 53 or good enough. This one's probably a little low. 51. What this one? 56. You are perfect. A lot of good trees in here. I'm, I'm using enough wood that the forester should be should be going full blast. Okay, it looks like looks like they are delivering materials, so that's good. So yeah, we are on the road on the road to two thousand people. I don't. I'm hoping the game. I mean, there's an achievement for it. It's kind of why I'm going for it. I hope the game can actually handle that because I'm still once in a while, you know, I play long enough in these play sessions and I still run into that bug where sometimes it just pops up that it can't save. And basically you have to exit the game and, and come back with the last autosave that was done because um, from then on out, you can't actually save any progress. So there's no point in doing anything else in the game because you're not gonna you're not gonna work very well all right as everything gets sort of shuffled around builders move and you know all all the people get shuffled around every time one of these finishes uh let's see so we've got a we got main street actually no see this is main street coming up here uh, which reminds me, this was taken down. So I can actually fill out the road in here. 
now that this was this was done All right, it's already been torn down so uh, let's come on click drag there we go so we're gonna skirt along here and just build up around all that stuff so that'll give us more lanes to walk in not sure how they choose the path that they choose, but it is what it is. They seem to be using, you know, quite a bit of the road, which is nice. Get rid of some more of these nice big trees. Yeah. This one, 48. I think that's the max size for that one. Pretty much full grown at that point. 46, not quite. This one looks pretty healthy. Yeah, this one's ready to go. Fifty-six, that one's good. Fifty-three, that's close. Very, very close. Oh, there's one back here that's kind of fifty-six, yeah, that's ready to come down. Yeah, I do have the mod that uh, you can configure uh, all the different things. So, yeah, there's uh, a lot of different mods available for the game. Um, I think next episode I'll kind of go through kind of the final set of mods that, that I kind of landed on. Something... Something to start off next episode. Okay, you mm -hmm. are standing next to a bear. You, sir, take care of that bear. And then, how about this tree? Is this tree ready to go? Yes, this tree is definitely ready to go. How about this one? 40? Yeah, 48 is good. Yeah, I've had a few people ask in the comments about about that. Oh, yeah, one thing we could do to help speed up the trees over here. We look at the scarecrow. Deters birds and accelerate growth of crops and trees. So we could actually put a scarecrow in here and maybe, I'm not sure if it's just like, you know, trees in an orchard or if it's you know normal trees it could be just normal trees or it could be just you know orchard trees i'm not sure but we're you know we're gonna we're gonna try and find out see if see if a little scarecrow down here helps this little forest area because if we look at the scarecrow area and then this so you know, a bit smaller, but still works. Looks like all the houses are now built. Look at that. Who look at the teenagers in here. That would be a rowdy house. You got ten teenagers living in that one house. Yeah, garden. I don't know why the gardeners. They're really they're really distributing around the around the place because this is paused still. Uh, once I unpause it, all the gardeners should sort of move back up into this area uh, for now though they're they're kind of they're kind of stuck okay uh, I've been neglecting yeah oh wow look at all the trees in here so let's clear out trees in here again got one growing right next to my wall all right people dying of old age that's a good sign that my village is doing pretty good Okay, yeah, lots of trees in here. I've been kind of neglecting this process. And let's see. This one I've already cleared. How about this one? And then this one. And then this one back here. Yeah, a bunch of really mature trees back here. And that, that'll help me see what I'm doing when I'm placing the walls. So the houses that are up here, 
they're done and they're not upgraded because I just sort of built them and left them. So if I upgraded these now, they'd, I'd have a lot of homeless people on my hands, I think. Okay, so if we look at the wall here, I want at least one or two more coming out before I do the next. Okay, so that's one wall there. Uh, you guys need to clear that tree so I can see what I'm doing. Anybody? Anybody coming out and doing that? There's somebody. All right. Mm -hmm. Bruce, thank you very much for that tree chopping prowess. Ah, I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's get in here and do our thing here. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to be about close enough. And I wish I could, you know, I wish I could just build a few of these, but they would be really poorly spaced if I did that. Uh, so if I leave, if I cut it in right there and I go across this way, I should be able to make that work. In with the thunderstorm so yeah this wall is a little behind than this wall so I got a little bit more. Whew, lightning. so if I resign to cut in there I could just assume this is gonna need to be snuck in right here and we're gonna build this Right on the corner there. Wow, did it get dark suddenly. Woo! Nighttime and rain and render. Oh, yeah, see, there's another rendering issue. Like, I don't know what causes that, but sometimes the game struggles a little bit. Okay, this is actually almost built. You know, I'll, and once these are all built, I'm actually going to start upgrading them. And that's going to consume a ton of material. And I might need to move, might need to move a bunch of stone. Because if we look at these, upgrade, 120 stone, 25 wood. And if we look at a level 2 to level 3, 100 stone and 60. So I've, I've got the materials, they're just not here. So I need wood and stone. Well, we got lots of wood somehow. Not sure where that wood came from, but the stone, that is a little bit of an issue. Okay, so this guy is getting built. Hopefully this thing is close enough. There's not a horrible gap in there. But from here, we're gonna go, go this direction. Really make it really make it look nice and once all once once I upgrade all those walls it's gonna look like a proper castle very expensive proper castle and this thing is maxed out I keep ooh, look at that we've got all of these things ready to go so ore mining food production let's do food production why not you know give me some materials uh, although we don't have clay up here. I might need to change my caravans a little bit. Because pretty much everything is going into here right now. I do have a little ore back here. Yeah, there was quite a lot in this little little cluster there. I couldn't, uh, couldn't avoid that. Uh, yeah, a lot of stone. A lot of materials in that one. Uh, where are we moving them from? Okay, so these, I mean, they should be, they should be moving that. Everything there looks good. We got two stone here that aren't being used at all. 
I might want to take one of those. Yeah, let's take one of these. Let's pin this. Go out. Where, where is this at? Okay, so that is... That's coming from there. What about this one? Oh, both of those. Okay, where are they going? One's going there. Oh, one's going there. Hmm. I could get a caravan down here and move stone into the market. And then the market... Uh, I clicked on the wrong building. The market would then distribute them everywhere else. Yeah, I really, I, I might need to completely overhaul my caravan system and centralize, like centralized baking. Like I could have, you know, 50 bakeries in this area, just tons of bakeries. But then I would have to caravan in all of the goods, but it would centralize everything. And then I could take the, the pies and then redistribute them into the city, uh, you know, all over the, you know, where everybody eats. Uh, and uh, handle that as sort of a central centralized distribution. So I still wish, I really wish we could, you know, indicate what goes into a barn or a warehouse. That would be so nice. But that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.